Saxon math and Singapore math are very different, but equally intriguing for the strong results they have produced. This workshop focuses on two top math programs for homeschoolers, Saxon math and math and focus, the Singapore approach. We will discuss the background, history, features, and components of these programs. We will begin with a brief history of Saxon math. In the late 1970s, John Saxon was teaching in a junior college in Oklahoma and noticed that his students were not performing well on their math tests. He developed his own program based on incremental development, continual review, and frequent assessment. By the 1980s, he had developed an algebra program as well as upper-level math programs for Algebra 1 half, Algebra 2, Advanced Math, and Calculus. At this time, Saxon math was starting to be accepted both in private schools and in home schools, two groups who were open enough and flexible enough to use this new approach to math. By the 1990s, Saxon offered a complete program with three authors, John Saxon with Frank Wang for the upper grades, Stephen Hake for the middle grades, and Nancy Larson for the lower grades. Today, the approach remains the same, but we have added technology options such as Saxon Teacher, upper-level math options such as geometry, and many other resources to help you in your math studies. The Saxon approach is based on incremental development, continual review, and frequent assessment. By incremental development, we mean that Saxon takes a small increment of a concept, teaches it in a lesson, and reviews it in subsequent lessons. Unlike other programs in which instruction for a concept is masked within a chapter, tested, and not revisited, Students study new concepts while reviewing what they have learned previously. In addition, Saxon includes assessments after every fifth lesson, which is much more frequent than other programs. Here is a page from the table of contents for the fourth grade book. As you can see, each lesson covers a distinct math topic, and as students progress through the lessons, they will encounter a number of different concepts. Saxon's K-3 program is completely scripted, so parents are given information on how to put together each lesson, as well as age-appropriate language and questioning strategies for conducting the lesson. Students learn through the use of manipulatives. The same manipulatives kit will work for all four years of the K-3 program. The emphasis in Saxon's early grades program is on arithmetic, as well as geometry, time, patterns, and other foundational math concepts. The components for the early grades include the teacher's edition, which contains scripted lessons, the meeting book, which includes warm-up activities to start each lesson, such as calendar activities, weather charts, and more, and the workbook and fact card sets, which conclude the lesson through review of previously learned concepts. Manipulatives are sold separately. The lessons in the early grades begin with lesson preparation, which includes the materials that will be needed as well as any lesson elements that will need to be put together in advance, such as a coin cup. The meeting begins each lesson with an everyday math activity. The lesson includes a new concept, generally taught with manipulatives, and concludes with review activities in the workbook. Saxon's middle grades program transitions students from the manipulatives-based K-3 program to a textbook approach. The middle grades also include a new concept, plus a review of previous concepts, but now both take place in the student textbook. The middle grades also introduces a solutions manual, which helps students to learn more independently as they are able to look up the solutions to problems they may be struggling with. Also available starting in the middle grades is Saxon Teacher, a very helpful multimedia resource to aid students in their math studies. In addition to reviewing basic math concepts, Saxon's middle grades program teaches algebraic reasoning and more complex geometry concepts. Like the middle grades program, the upper grades includes a textbook, solutions manual, and testing booklet. The upper grades program is designed to prepare students for college and beyond. The main component of a middle school or high school math kit is the textbook, which includes the new concept, practice problems within that concept, and mixed review problems. Each review problem is labeled with a lesson reference number, 
which refers students back to the lesson in which a particular concept was taught. The Solutions Manual offers step-by-step -step solutions to every problem in the book. The final component is the Testing Booklet, which in the middle grades also includes daily fact practice worksheets. In the middle grades, lessons begin with a warm-up activity, which includes a fact practice worksheet, mental math, and problem solving. The new concept generally takes 10 to 15 minutes for both the middle and upper grades and includes several example problems. Lesson practice includes practice on the concepts taught in the lesson, and the problem set includes plenty of practice problems, usually 30, as a review of previous concepts. Saxon Geometry is a recent addition to the Saxon Upper Grades program. Saxon Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Advanced Math have geometry instruction incorporated throughout them because John Saxon believed in keeping all math topics current rather than studying one area of math, such as algebra or geometry, to the exclusion of other topics. For students who wish to study a full year of geometry or face state requirements regarding geometry instruction, we offer a geometry course with rigorous proofs, logical reasoning, trigonometry, and other geometry concepts. Starting in 2011, we offer the fourth edition of Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, which are designed to go along with the Saxon Geometry course. Saxon Teacher is a CD-ROM program for Math 5.4 through Advanced Math that offers video instruction for every lesson, practice problem, review problem, and test question. An experienced teacher walks students through each lesson, explaining concepts and offering helpful hints along the way. Saxon Teacher complements the book and solutions manual and is excellent for students who prefer a visual approach when learning math. Here is a screenshot from Saxon Teacher. In the upper left corner are two menus, one for choosing the lesson and the other for choosing a video within that lesson. As the teacher presents the material, students can use the control panel to rewind, fast forward, or pause the video. Saxon Math has several advantages when compared to other programs. First of all, Saxon is a complete K-12 program that adapts to your child's needs. Starting as a parent-driven, manipulative-based approach, the Saxon program transitions to a textbook approach in later years. In the K-3 through program, lessons are scripted for parents, and starting in fourth grade, Solutions Manuals and the Saxon Teacher CD-ROM offer additional support. At any time, parents can send an email to our math helpline to receive assistance with a difficult math topic. As a complete program that has been used by generations of homeschoolers, Saxon offers preparation for using math in college and in life. At saxonhomeschool.com, parents can download free placement tests for the Saxon program, and they can also access research on the Saxon math approach, Saxon teacher demo videos, scope and sequence, frequently asked questions, a virtual catalog, and lesson samplers. Now let's talk about Math and Focus. Math and Focus, the Singapore approach, is available for grades K through 5 and is split into A and B books, with each book representing one semester of math instruction. Singapore Math can refer to any of the math programs developed by Marshall Cavendish and used in Singaporean classrooms. Marshall Cavendish is the official publisher of Singapore math programs having developed primary mathematics as well as MyPalser Here, the program on which Math and Focus is based. MyPalser Here is used by 80% of students in Singapore. For Math and Focus, the Singapore approach, Marshall Cavendish collaborated with GreatSource, which is part of Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, to develop a version of MyPalser Here for American students. As a result, Math and Focus, the Singapore approach, has the benefits of a Singapore math program in a format that is attractive for American students. What is Singapore math? Singapore math has an excellent reputation for building conceptual understanding. The nation of Singapore is a top performer on the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study, or TIMS. Singapore math is based on fewer topics taught at a greater depth. There is a progression from concrete to pictorial to abstract within the lessons, 
and there is an emphasis on number bonds and place value charts, which begin in grade 1, as well as bar modeling, which begins in grade 2. Here is a table of contents. When compared to a Saxon table of contents, you can see how deeply Math and Focus goes into individual concepts and how long they are studied. Topics such as place value of whole numbers are covered very thoroughly within a chapter. Most lessons take one day, but some can take two or three days, and the lessons include instruction, hands-on activities, games, practice and apply, math journal, put on your thinking cap, and other activities. What does concrete to pictorial to abstract mean? Concrete refers to the use of manipulatives or physical objects to illustrate math concepts. Objects are then represented pictorially within the text. Finally, math concepts are represented abstractly with numerals and symbols. The concrete to pictorial to abstract progression is consistent throughout concept development and problem solving. Problems start simple and increase in complexity. Here is a sample lesson from Grade 4, Chapter 6. The lesson is structured to take students systematically through an individual concept, moving from learn, to guided practice, to let's practice, to practice and apply. Also, you can see the amount of information that appears in the Teacher's Edition. Lesson features in the Teacher's Edition include 5-minute lesson warm-up, best practices, common errors, for advanced learners, and extensive notes for each section of the lesson. Here is the final page of the lesson. The practice and apply portion of the lesson is completed in the student workbook, and answers are provided in the teacher edition. Here are some of the advantages to using Math and Focus, the Singapore approach. The first is an authentic Singapore math curriculum with the user friendliness of an American program. Math and Focus provides the best of both worlds by giving parents all the support they need to implement the Singapore approach. It includes hardcover textbooks, and the lessons are very informative, especially considering the information packed into the teacher's edition, as we have seen. Additionally, the Math and Focus virtual manipulatives complement the text, but the program also works with the physical manipulatives you may already own. Math and Focus comes in two different configurations. The homeschool kits are made available by semester, and they include a teacher's edition, student textbook, and student workbook. The assessments, which are for a full year, and virtual manipulatives are sold separately. The student packs do not include a teacher's edition and are designed for a full year of study. A student pack includes parts A and B of the student textbook, parts A and B of the student workbook, and assessments, with the virtual manipulatives available separately. The virtual manipulative CD-ROM is a very unique feature of the Math and Focus program. Virtual manipulatives give students a chance to manipulate and explore math concepts in a way that is not possible with physical manipulatives. Here we see a virtual 100 chart being used to solve an addition problem. Students have the ability to choose the type of objects they would like to use as counters, from familiar items like linking cubes and teddy bears to less traditional counters. Virtual manipulatives allow students to make charts and graphs very easily. With these tools at their disposal, students can see relationships clearly, and they are presented in an engaging way. Probability experiments also come to life with the virtual manipulatives. Spinners, coins, and number cubes are used to conduct trials and compare experimental probability with theoretical probability. Here's an overview of how Math and Focus compares with Saxon Math K-3. through Math and Focus is a sequential program that is guided, while Saxon uses an incremental, scripted approach. Saxon relies on physical manipulatives, while Math and Focus uses virtual manipulatives as well as being compatible with physical manipulatives. Saxon's tactile approach is heavy on manipulatives, while Math and Focus has a very colorful text with many illustrations. And while Saxon stresses real-world math connections through the meeting book activities, Math and Focus includes games and enrichment activities in the textbook. 
Thank you for your interest in Saxon Math and Math in Focus, the Singapore approach. This workshop is designed as an introduction to these two math programs. For more specific information, such as scope and sequence, placement tests, and samplers, please use the resources provided at saxonhomeschool.com.